Yeah, I mean, just to be here today playing a super game on Eden Park, um, pretty special. Um, obviously, it's something that some of us girls who have been around for a long time have been, been wanting and, and pushing for. So to see that happen today, today was pretty cool. Um, to come out on the win, you know, we, we made a, I guess, a goal that we didn't just want to be in history, we wanted to create it. So pretty proud of the effort the girls put out there tonight. Yeah, it's been pretty surreal and as we said, um, such a special occasion and um, definitely long overdue uh, and you would have seen it, just the, the calibre of players, the matchups mm. across um, both sides of the, te the Chiefs and the Blues and, um, you know, pe people want to see that. You know, there's a lot of growth in our game and um, people are really getting behind us so it's, uh, it was an awesome opportunity to showcase our abilities and um, put a stake in the ground and say that we are worthy and in, in investing in and, um, you know, that we can produce good rugby. Mm. Oh, I think results aside, um, just a, a massive occasion for women's rugby and um, congrats to the Chiefs. It was it was an awesome game. Um, I think the positive for us is that we did create opportunity. Um, we just couldn't couldn't stick it, just um, fell back on our basic skill set. So, um, you know, I guess if we'd had a little bit more time together, that could have stuck or, um, you know, if it, a few bounces of the ball or whatever, it's just a game of, of moments and um, unfortunately we didn't capitalise on that. Um, and just soak it in, you know, we, we talked about it before we ran out, um, we had our karakia and, and we were just brought back to um, where our feet are at, you know, we were here, we were grounded in the moment and, and just take it in and, um, you know, do your best to to add value to this jersey, we're the, the privileged first to be able to pull this jersey on, so, you know, we are only the caretakers and moving forward. Um, we want to leave it in a good place so that the future who comes um, after us can, you know, add add to um, what we have already put into it. Um, well, we actually had a, our management put on a jersey presentation this morning. So we um, based up at Counties Monaco this morning and our families all came in and presented our jerseys to us. So that was pretty special. Um, just a close session with those close to us. Quite emotional. Um, and, and it was a bit of a worry, does the emotion get in, you know, in, in our heads and does it affect our game? But we actually channeled that emotion really well today. Um, I think we took the mana of our family onto the field with us. So, yeah, she's a, I was looking for her just then actually, but well, it's hard to find, <laughs> hard to find anyone in those moments. But um, I'll go find her soon. She might be asleep. Hundred percent. Yeah, eh? <laughs> yeah. You know, we've come off the back of club yeah. as well, which is another um, a little bit slower pace. So just um, being able to have uh, the the types of players that we did, it definitely sped the game up and um, made for some good running rugby. <laughs> yeah, quite physical battle out there. Yeah. Yeah, I think it just shows the the product that's. You know, we're, that's coming off a couple of trainings together. Yeah. We've played club rugby, so that's the highest intensity game we've played all year since Barbarians last year mm. for some of our girls in black and since FTC for our, for our other girls. So to put on a product like that off three trainings and a couple of club game, games just shows what we could create if we were resourced. Yeah, totally. I mean, it's it's big picture stuff, and and we knew, you know, obviously really happy to come over with the result, but it was more about uh, the occasion than anything. So we really bought into that, and and the girls, as you say, the sacrifice they did make was was all about that, and and obviously to to come over with the win uh, just makes it even more special. Um, I don't know what, what we can really talk about, but um, there's been talks of an elite competition. Um, that's about the detail that we know. 
Um, obviously, with the, with something like this, we don't want to just rush into a, a competition like this and have it, you know, affect FBC as well. So it is something that needs to be tabled properly and talked about, and all scenarios laid out on the table. What we don't want to see is that a, a product list like this dismantles FBC, where we get a larger group of girls playing the game. So it needs to be done properly. Mm. That would be that would be quite good. <laughs> you should suggest it. <laughs> yeah, it's just excitement levels were were through the roof, and um, yeah, I I don't know. It was a, the first twenty was a bit of a bit of a whitewash in terms of what I can remember. It was just so fast and. Um, trying to transition this big rig around the field is <laughs> that was quite difficult but um yeah awesome to see I think for us um Sylvia was Sylvia oh little um Patricia went over for our first try followed mm -hmm. up by um Sylvia so two of our our teenage girls and um awesome for them you know that they are teenagers competing against women and um some almost twice their age and and um for them to rise to the occasion. <laughs> Is that a dig? No, 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 no. For them to rise to the occasion and um and feel confident that they can, I think mm. that is that's just awesome. Yeah, I mean on that too, Petu, the try she did score was a little chip you know, that's mm. confidence. That's a confidence play in a big moment. So just shows what the caliber we've got coming through with those young girls. Is it fair to say that we have created rules to prevent over-under brands or sort of things that people do and not just look for? You know, we've been saying in this game, we have been rushing and we've seen a lot more copies of this than our own um, NPC. Um, you know, does having a full chess team, do you think, up that level of, I guess, publicity or attention? Yeah, yeah, it probably does. Obviously, you know, it's it's a, a more known brand um, that people are going to appeal to. But I guess if we're, you know, comparing apples with apple, apples and seeing what Super's done to maybe Mighty 10 Cup, um, we, we've got an opportunity to not have to mimic the men's game and we can be quite innovative in that space. So how we do that, I'm not too sure, but I hope the people at the table who are making the decisions are considering that. Are you seeing the players, you know, the players that you were sat doing the black things and the new game you know, at that table? Um, and if you want to, you know, shouldn't you be? Yeah, um, I'm not specifically, but we have girls from the Chiefs region that are um, representing us. I guess we'd have the same one from the Blues. Yeah. Yeah. So there are girls. Probably senior leaders in the Black Ferns who are involved in those discussions. Yeah. And, you know, in the place of those discussions might be picking up and some of the momentum to have lost from someone else. Good question. Okay. Pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, pretty soon. Um, yeah. That working group will get together and yeah, and start yeah tabling some ideas and, yeah. and we'll see where it goes. Yeah. Thanks, Steve. Yeah.